Hi everyone, it's Eric, and welcome to my unboxing at the 64GB Nexus 6. I'm very excited to bring you this coverage of videos, because this is my, going to be my new daily driver. As you all know, I've actually been using the HTC Desire S for the last 3-4 to four years as my daily phone. And right now it's actually going through so many problems actually that I, I can't even use this anymore. So, that's why I wanted to pick up a phone like immediately, and I was waiting for the Nexus 4. Didn't really impress me. Uh, well, at least for my standards. Nexus 5 I wanted, but the speakers were not very good at all, and that was a deal breaker for me as I really wanted great speakers and then I waited for the Nexus 6 and it's got front facing fantastic speakers and I am so glad I waited and here it is and it's a very nice and simple plain style box much like the Nexus 9 that I just unboxed earlier and what I'm going to do right now is just cut the seals of tape at the back and here we go now, I'm just, now first of all I'm just going to say this has been an absolute nightmare to pick up here in the UK quite a few delays and you, it's going to take ages to ship to you I bought this from Motorola Go to Motorola, don't go to the don't go to the jokers at Google Play. They've really been making a mess of things here. So with that said, let's unbox the device. Okay. And wow, there is the Nexus 6 itself. Uh, a bit dusty actually. It's quite surprising. Like, what, oh, I'm just gonna say actually. I'm just looking at all the phones that are next to me. This looks the biggest out of all of them. I know it's to be expected. It looks absolutely huge. But it feels amazing in the hat. Wow. <clears throat> Bit surprised how quite dusty it is out of the box. But uh, wow, this looks and feels amazing. I like the texture on the power button over there. That's been getting a lot of great reviews. Quite dusty in the box, which is strange. So let's put that off to the side. Take a very quick look at what else we get inside the box. And oh, here we go. Oh, let's see. Uh, inside here, we'll get <coughs> as you can as I said, flame wars in the comments. I'm just too excited. I'm actually not taking very good care of that, am I? Okay, how to insert the SIM card? Nexus Six most likely get started and safety of warranty. There we go. I'm gonna make this very quick so we can just get straight to the actual phone. Now, normally I don't really pay much attention to power charges, but this one is definitely worth uh, talking about actually. And, you know what, I'm not going to get out of the box actually right now, I'll, I'll, I'll just do is we'll talk about it. This allows you to basically do turbo charging on the Nexus 6. So I'm actually going to do a video in real time. It won't be 15 minutes long, by the way, but I'm going to show you in 15 minutes how much charge you can get out of the Nexus 6, because it is, like, hours of charge just with 15 minutes. So that's great, that's, that's there. Put that to the side. And here, full-size USB to micro-USB cable. That's everything you get inside the box. Let's put that off to the side and take a look at the beast, which is the Nexus 6. <sighs> it's finally here, the moment I've been waiting for. So, uh, looks absolutely beautiful in the back. I can't say much about the front yet. I need to power it on and take off this protective film. I am going to try and getting a glass screen protector for this, by the way. I'm definitely going to try picking up one of those. Um, let's first give you a quick look at my Desire S in comparison to this, because I've been using this phone. I'm going to have to upgrade from this. And this is an absolute beast. In fact, this can't even fit to shot. This can fit into shot like this. This can't. This is huge. Look at that. So it's going to be a big difference for me to adjust to. So that's the Desire S. Let's take a look at the Lumia 735, which I've been using as my daily driver for the past week, week or two, actually. And this is a 4.7-inch screen, whereas this is a 6-inch screen. And as you can see, uh, again, much bigger than the uh, Lumia 735. Let's look at the Xperia Z3. Z3. Now, this is not the compact. This is the actual Z3. And as you can see, just a bit taller than the Nexus 6, actually. Definitely wider, as you can see if I do this. It's definitely wider. Uh, almost, probably you could say about a centimeter in uh, width and height. But, uh, yeah, actually, that's quite... I'm surprised at how close this is size-wise. So, uh, yes, the Xperia Z3. And now, let's do something which is more interesting, the Nexus 4. So this is uh, the Nexus 4 that came two iterations ago. As you can see, there's a huge difference in size since then. Let's put this on top. And let's do a little thickness comparison just with the Nexuses. You can see that this is actually... The Nexus 6 is uh, the Nexus 4 is much more flat, whereas it's uh, much more tapered on an oval and curved on the Nexus 6, so it looks thinner, but probably is a bit thicker. So that's the quick, very quick comparison right there. Now let's power this device on, and I'm surprised how much dust this screen cover is getting, but I'll leave it on just for now. So uh, let's, what I'm going to do actually is for those of you that want to see uh, the setup procedure, you can see me set up the Nexus 9 in one of my previous videos. I'm just going to skip the setup procedure and the way this all starts and show you the actual main home screen. So, definitely stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, the setup procedure is complete, and here we are at the home screen, and look at this AMOLED display. This looks absolutely phenomenal. 
I mean, this really looks beautiful, and the responsiveness is so much more responsive than the Nexus 9 I've just recently had in. Uh, really, it's just amazing, and the screen size to me is, I feel like I'm already used to it, because I've been using so many large screen devices. Uh, let's tap and hold, and let's just add a widget. Uh, just, let's just hit the clock, and just add it to another screen, so we've got two screens to swipe between. That is super smooth, animations are really good. As you can see, there is already an update available for the device, and I'm going to have to do that later after this video, but this is giving you this 5.0 update, this is, basically. And let's see if I can just go into the settings, right there. Let's go to About Phone, and tap onto that, we'll get the Easter egg. Tap and hold. And here it is, let's have another go at this. I seem to be getting the first one in now, and I always miss the second one. But there you go, that's that. And I'm just really looking forward to actually setting this up and making this my own, adding all my details and email addresses, etc. All that in. I'm really looking forward to testing this phone out, and these speakers, from what I've heard, they have been extremely good and even louder than the, than the HTC One M8. So I'm actually very curious to give these a go as well. Uh, well thanks, guys, thanks guys very much for watching. I'm really, really appreciate your views. And what I'm going to do right now is go set this up and play with it. And I'll definitely do more comparisons in my full review. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to be covering this thing like crazy. So definitely stay tuned for that over this Christmas period. Thanks again, guys, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you next time. Take care.